Abdur, Amir, and Rifat, we have done this fifth. No, okay. Uh, please start this question. Okay, let me know if you have any doubt. Uh, okay, Abdur. Okay, so let me check the issue. Okay, I will share the assignments again. Uh, question. Okay, Umir, uh, we will discuss the uh, your doubt after the class. Okay, let's focus on this. After the class, we will discuss. Uh, Abdur, um, I guess now you can open the assignments. Okay. Uh, the team has shared it again. Okay. 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 In such a case, Abdur, always uh, drop a message on the group. Okay. So that anyone can check at the same time.
no, Umir, you just need to complete now the assignment number one and two. Okay, not of base zero, only one and two. Okay. Uh, this is a very simple question. Please share your answer. So the Uh, Abdul, what does it mean by and? Uh, this is correct. 3 by 8 and 6 by 10. That is correct. But what is, what is and? Uh, yes, Abdul. And is it okay? Then multiply this. Okay. And tell me the final answer. Okay. And please write uh, as, um, as Umir. Uh, told me yesterday that he has not used the intersection so please use the intersection okay uh, let a be the event i will write the short form okay let a be the event that uh, first find the probability both are back uh, both uh, event that the ball drawn from the first back drawn from the first back is red, okay? And B be the event that the ball drawn from the second back is red. So what we need to find, we need to find here P intersection B. Always please write, whenever you have to find and write intersection. And we know that these two are independent event, okay? You need to decide now that these are dependent or independent event. Why I'm giving so much stress on these types of questions? Because these are the basics. Okay. So check these two. Taking a ball from one bag, it will not affect the probability of other. Okay. So this means these two are independent. So P into PP. If they are not independent, they are dependent. In that case, you have to use the condition. Oh, okay. Okay. Nine by 40. So three, okay, good, good, Abdur. Okay, but please write in this way, Omer, you also. Okay, use the intersection. Uh, nine by 40, very, very good. Uh, please do the second part, Abdur, and Omer, share the first answer. Uh, you are getting 3 by 8. That's correct. 
uh, and 6 by 10, that means river. Very, very good, Omir. Multiply these two. Tell me the final answer. Okay, so P is uh, you're getting 3 by 8. But remember, Omir, use the combination. Okay, here you are drawing a single ball. That's where the combination and the direct method has given you the same answer. But please remember to use the combination. Very good, Abdul. It is correct. Very good. Omir, please again share the second answer. Uh, Omir, I told you in the first class that whenever you are selecting something, use combination. For example, here you are selecting red ball. So 3C1 by 8C1 into what is next? 6C1. 6C1 by 10C1. Okay, you did. Then it's good. Very, very good. Omir, uh, please share the second one then. Uh, very good, Umir. That's correct. Good. Now, please uh, try this question. Okay. Always focus that this is a dependent or independent. Okay. Because when we will uh, start with the law of total probability or some complicated type, then uh, they can give you a question of any type, dependent or independent. So, please check the question that it is of dependent or independent. Okay, Umir, uh, here what we are doing, we are doing ball one by one with replacement. So if you are replacing the ball in a bag and again you are picking the second ball, then the first will affect the probability of second or not. Umir, if you are picking a ball, you are again replacing the bag and you pick the second ball. It is affecting or not? No, it is not affecting. Okay, Omer, you have five white, seven red, four black. If I will pick a red white ball, again replace in the back, then again I have the same number of balls. No change. So the first is not affecting the second one. So that's why it is independent. If I will draw one ball and remove it from the back, then you will get a four white. Now it is affecting this. So this is dependent. Okay, so if you are replacing the ball then it is independent if you're removing the ball then it is dependent so you need to understand the question for example you have a two different bag definitely first bag will not affect the second one okay so you have to check the uh, sense of the question we will see different type of questions from here okay this is also a simple question please use an intersection define what are the events you're selecting then use the intersection Uh, Omir, if you are not replacing, then it is dependent. Okay, you have drawn one ball and you are not replacing it here. You have removed. So, it is affecting the probability of the second one. So, it is dependent. If you are replacing in the back, it becomes independent.
ये सुमेर फॉर दिस यू यूज कंडीशन Okay, uh, Rifat, we have started a new question. Okay, uh, but you can share this answer fifth first, then you can start the sixth one. Okay. Uh, okay, Rifat, I will help you. Just, just give me a minute, okay? Okay, uh, Rifat, we will see the first fifth one first. Okay, now uh, the question is a bag contains three red and five black, and a second bag contains six red and four black. A ball is drawn from each bag. Find the probability both are red and black. So you can see here, Rifat, that the if we will take A is the event, ball drawn from the first bag is red. B is the event, ball drawn from the second bag is red. Okay, so you can first you need to decide that this is a dependent or independent. Okay, as you have a different back, that's why probability of first will not affect the probability of second. They two are not interlinked. Okay, so what we have to find? First is red, second is also red. So we are using and, that's why we will use intersection. Okay, you know that this PA intersection B is PA into PB. Just find the probability of this PA, find the probability of B, multiply these two. Okay, you will do like this. So I have written here as the answer. Okay. So please uh, refer to the calculation and share the answer for both the parts. Uh, the question is Umir, the probability that all are white. So why you are not doing this directly Umir? What is the probability that none is white? Okay. So take A, all are, uh, first is not white, first not white. Okay. Take B, second not white. Take C, third not white d fourth not white okay so that means you need to find a intersection b intersection c intersection d which is equal to p a into p b into p c into p d okay now what is p a p a is first is not white so you, you need to select from this seven four eleven so eleven c one by Total is 16, 16 C1. Similarly, 11 C1 by 16 C1. 11 C1 by 16 C1. 11 C1 by 16 C1. Uh, let me check. Okay.
Uh, Umir, uh, but how many balls uh, you are picking from the back? That's why. Uh, very good, Rifat. That's correct. Rifat, uh, now please solve this question. Question number six. Okay, so uh, in this question, uh, Abdur, you need to find the probability that none of the ball is white. You are picking four balls. Okay, so I have taken first as first not white ball. B, second ball is not white. C, third is not white. D, is fourth is not white. We need A intersection B, C, D. Okay, as all these are independent events, so P, A into P, B into P, C into P, D. Now, what is the probability of A? You are picking a ball and that should not be a white. So remaining balls are 7, 4, 11. 11, C, 1 by totally 16, C, 1. Clear, Abdul? Is it clear, Abdul? Okay, great. Now please complete this, all of you. Share your, uh, raise your hand, then we, we will start next. Uh, very good, Amir. It is correct now. Good. Uh, Rifat and Abdur, uh, please. Okay, Rifat. Rifat, so you are getting this answer. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 by 6, 5, 5, 3, 6. This one. Okay, great, great. Abdur, please confirm. Uh, yes, Abdur. That, that's why I always tell you to check the question that it is of dependent or independent. Okay. Please check this statement. With replacement. With replacement means you are drawing a ball and again you are replacing in the same bag. 
that's why again it will be 11 by 16 okay that's why it is an independent question clear observe observe is it clear Okay, great. Absurd. Please do the calculation. Don't change this into a decimal. Okay, tell me final answer in fraction form only. Okay, don't use decimal. Uh, next is, okay, this is the same one which we have already completed. Okay, now again, uh, at least type of question. Okay, always remember this at least one is a different type of question or we can say this is an important one. In at least I already told you yesterday how to solve at least type of questions. Okay, now please try this question yes one minus always in at least but always remember the word at least one so whenever in a question you will see at least one then always use one minus none okay now please try this question and share your answer Uh, this is incomplete. Okay, Abdur, there are uh, four balls. Okay, please. Answer is correct, but it is incomplete. Please complete it. And all, uh, and all of you, please share your answer.
yes, Abdul, that's correct. But that is one minus. Okay. Omir and Rifat, please share your answer. Or let me know if you have a doubt. Uh, one, two, five, five, nine, two, five, six. No, no, Rifat, that's not correct. Okay, please, please check. Uh, yesterday we have done some questions from at least type. Please check those questions. And Omir, please share your answer. Yes, Abdul, that's correct. Very good. Uh, Rifat and Umir, uh, will you please share the answer? Or let me know if you have any doubt. Uh, Umir, is it done? Rifat, is it done? Okay, 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 Umir. Uh, Rifat, uh, so this will be 1 minus, I already told you, 1 minus probability of none. Probability that none of the ball is white. None of the ball is white. Is white, okay? So, Rifat, now please... Complete this and share your answer. Okay, okay. Let let me solve this one. Okay, so required. Uh, I will write here. It is equal to what we need. Probability that at least one is white. Probability 
that at least one ball is white. One ball is white. Okay. So probability that none of the ball is white. So one minus. So that means B A intersection, B intersection, C intersection, D. And I have taken A as uh, first ball is not white. First ball is not white. Uh, uh, just just give me a minute, Tomer. Uh, just give me a minute. First ball is not white. Okay. Uh, B is second ball is not white. C. Uh, no, no, no. That's that's not no ball is white. Is eighty one by two fifty six. Okay. So the final answer will be. 1 minus uh, 81 by 256. So it is 256 minus 81. Uh, let me complete this, okay? Third is not white and D is fourth is not white. So it is equal to 1 minus, what is the probability? Ball is not white. So 8, 7, 15, 15 by 20. So it will give you 3 by 4. So 1 minus 3 by 4. To the power of four, so one minus uh, nine eighty one by two fifty six. That's correct. Now subtract these two, two fifty six minus eighty one. So this will give you. Uh, it is one seventy five by two fifty six. Omir, please check this. Why you are getting incorrect answer? You have done a mistake. Rifat, is it clear now? The answer should be this one: one seventy five by two fifty six. Okay, great, great. Umir, please correct your answer. Uh, now, please try this question. Okay, this is a very, very good question. This came in CBSE 2019. This came into the 2011. Try this one. Uh, no, Abdur, this is not a case study. Okay, this is a direct question.
uh, if anyone have a doubt, uh, please let me know. Uh, okay, Omir. So uh, everyone, please check the first part. Probabilities of solving a specific problem independently by A and B are this one. If both try to solve the problem, find the probability that the problem is solved. So when we will say that the problem is solved, when? Uh, is it correct if I will say a uh, probability probability that the problem is solved that the problem is solved is equal to probability that at least a or b will solve the problem solve the problem okay why i am saying at least because if only a will solve the problem oh, okay father i will check your answer okay why i am saying at least because if only a will solve the problem then also we will say that the problem is solved if only b will solve the problem then also problem will solve if a and b both will solve the problem then also the problem will be solved Okay, so that's why probability that the problem is solved is equal to probability that at least A or B will solve the problem. Is it clear? Umir? Okay, now please try this, Umir, and share your answer. Rifat, very good. Your answer is correct. Please uh, do the second one. Uh, very good, Rifat. Your answer is correct. Abdur, the first one is not correct. No. Very good, Umir. The first one is correct. Umir, please do the second one. Abdur, uh, you have sent me the answer. That is first two. Part two. First is not correct. Probability that at least A or B will solve the problem is equal to probab 1 minus probability none. 
always remember one minus probability none will solve the problem let me know up there if you have any doubt uh, do you have a doubt up there uh, you are not audible please reply me on the chat box okay so you have to find the this probability that at least a or b will solve the problem so the which is equal to whenever you have at least one always write one minus probability that none of them that none of them will solve the problem none of them will solve the problem okay so these two are independent even they have given but at least what is yes not given in the question but i have written over here so you need to analyze the question in the question they they ask us that the problem is solved when the problem will be solved when at least one will solve the problem okay if only a will solve the problem if only b or a and b both will solve the problem so the problem will be solved when at least a or b will solve clear up there You need to check the sense of the question. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, great. So please solve it and share your answer. And Omir, uh, please share the second one. Uh, exactly type of problem Omer. so exactly one of them means only one will solve the problem so what are the possibilities what are the possibilities this can happen a will solve then b will not solve okay they are asking about the exactly or what is the other option a will not solve and b will solve sorry i will write here so a will not solve then B will solve. Okay, so you need to take both the options. Uh, no, it is not five by six. No, two by three. One minus probability, none of them will solve the problem. So one minus, that means A will not solve. So probability that A will solve is one by two. So none will be again one by two into one by three. So not of this is two by three into two by three how it is two by three uh Abdur, always remember this basic rule p a plus p naught is equal to one so if you need to find p a naught that will be equal to one minus p a so if they are saying that the probability of solving is one by three then probability of not solving is one minus one by three clear Abdur? The same you have to do for one by two also. Mm -hmm. uh, Abdur, your voice is not clear. How, how we get one by two? Probability of solving is one by two. Of not solving is mm -hmm. one minus one by two. Okay, which is all one by two. Clear, Abdur? Okay, great, Doctor. Please uh, share your answer. And Omer, please share the second one.
ਗੁੱਡ ਅਬਦੁਰ ਓਕੇ 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 ਅਬਦੁਰ ਸੋ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਕਰੈਕਟ ਵਾਟਸ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਵਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਉਮੇਰ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਦ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਉਮੇਰ ਐਂਡ ਅਬਦੁਰ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਵਨ ਓਕੇ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਇਜ਼ uh please check here okay 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 abdur i will explain this again uh second one please check here umir if uh, always remember if a and b are independent event then a not and b not are also independent event okay all of you please remember if a and b are independent then a not and b not are also independent and a not and b or also independent so here these two are independent so we will write p a into p b not plus p a not into p b okay umir so what is p a it is already given 1 by 2 what is p b not we have just find out here this is p b not so 2 by 3 plus p a not p a not is 1 by 2 what is pb it is 1 by 3 so cancel out these two here you uh okay 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 take the lcm 6 so 2 plus 1 3 by 6 will give you 1 by 2 okay so this is the second one and observe please check the first one they are saying that what is the probability that the problem is solved when the probab when the problem will solve when either a will solve the problem when b will solve the problem or both a and b will solve the problem so that means at least one <coughs> sorry okay so that means when at least one will solve the problem always remember whenever you have a question probability at least one will solve the problem so that is equal to 1 minus and none will solve the problem 1 minus none always remember this um uh, okay umir just give me a minute so 1 minus none 1 minus none means a will not solve the problem and b will also not solve the problem so it is equal to 1 minus b a not this is for the first one into pb not okay so 1 minus what is pa not of the if the probability of a i will write here probability of a is 1 by 2 then pa not is 1 minus b so which is also 1 by 2 similarly this is 2 by 3 so cancel out this you will get 1 minus 1 by 3 which will give you 2 by 3 clear up the okay abdur is not here omir how you put 2 by 3 there uh what is pb omir probability of b is what omir what is the probability of b 1 by 3 what is the probability of pb not what is this it is 1 minus pb Yes. Is it clear now, Omer? Okay, great. We will start next question then. Uh, this question is homework. Okay, because I have to start now the law of total probability. Otherwise, we will not be able to complete our chapter. This question is homework. Please try this one. If you have a doubt, we can discuss in the next class. last one okay you may take this abdur you were get disconnected is it clear abdur from here again i need to explain this
Okay. So observe, we need probability that the problem is solved. So that means probability that at least one of A or B will solve the problem. So I already told you whenever you have to find probability that at least one. So that is equal to one minus probability of none. So that means one minus probability that A will not solve the problem and B will also not solve the problem. This is clear, Abdul? Yes, okay. So one minus P A naught into P B naught. It is equal to 1 minus, what is P A naught? After 1 by 2. What is P B naught? 2 by 3? Two two cancel out this. You get 1 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. Is it clear, Abdul? Okay. And second, this question you have uh, done in the same way? Your voice is not clear, but I guess you were saying yes. Uh, other, uh, please note on this. Confirm me, then we will start the next day. Uh, is it done, Abdul? Okay, great, great. Now, uh, all of you, please note down this question. This question is homework. Okay. And please do this question. I will give you the answer. This will clear all your doubts, but you have to do this in the homework. I have to start a next uh, slide. So, answer for this one is 2 by 5. Answer for this one is 1 by 10. Answer for this one is 13 by 30. The answer for this one is 1 by 60. Okay. All of you, please note down this. Raise your hands. Then we will start the next step. Okay, Abdul, good. Uh, Umir and Rifat, is it done? Umir and Rifat, is it done? Okay, Rifat, good. Umir, shall we start next? Umir, I'm going to start next one. Okay. Let me know email if you miss anything. 
okay so now this is a good topic law of total probability uh, what this theorem is says let s be the sample space and let e1 e2 e n be mutually exclusive and exhaustive events i hope now you know what is mutually exclusive and exhaustive events we have already done in the first class uh, associated with a random experiment uh, umir uh, abdur after this okay once we will do the law of total probability after this we will do the base here so uh, let s be the sample space and let e1 e2 e3 up to e n be the n mutually exclusive and exhaustive events okay if a is any event which occur with e1 e2 or e n and we need to find the probability of a that will be p1 p a by e1 plus this s s s s so what does this mean suppose you have a sample space this okay this is your sample space suppose this is your event e1 this is e2 okay this is e3 this is e4 and this is e5 this is complete your sample space if a is any event which can occur with any of these event e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 with any of these then if we need to find the probability of a Okay, if you need to find the probability of A, that will be equal to P E1 into P A by E1 plus P E2 into P A by E2 and so on. Okay, so let's take an example. Suppose you have two bag, bag one and bag two. Okay, in bag one, suppose you have four red and six black balls. And back to you have suppose three red and five black. Then the question is a bag is selected and a ball is drawn. What is the probability that the ball is red in color? I will write here a bag is selected, a bag is selected, and a ball is drawn, and a ball is drawn. What is the probability? What is the probability that it is that it is red in color? That it is red in color. Okay. So check here. For example, I'm saying that A is the event of getting a red ball. Red ball. Okay. So this is A. If I need to reach out to A, what I will do? First of all, I will select a bag. So let even be the bag i will say that e1 is the event of selecting first bag selecting first bag so what i will do first of all i will select a bag its probability is e1 then from the first bag i will select a ball so what is the probability of getting red ball from the first bag is this one so you need to write all the options so what is the other option you have to select the second bag e2 Okay, you will calculate its probability E2. Then from the second bag, you will select a ball. So you, we will find the probability of A, probability of getting red ball from the second bag. So we will say E2 is selecting second bag. Second bag. Okay, so what's the theorem law of total probability? If A is any event which can occur with E1, E2, E3, E4, E and anything. So if you have to find the PA, then you need to find P1, then A by U. And you can understand in this way, if you have to reach out to A, how you will do? First of all, you will select a bag. Then from that bag, you will select a ball. So you will write all the options. You have to select first bag, you have to select second bag, in case there are three and four bag. First, you will select the bag, then from that you will select the ball okay we will see some questions and i hope then this will be clear to you so uh, please note down this okay only this definition is uh, enough raise your hands once it is done then we will see some questions
Uh, Umair, please note down this. I will explain uh, from the question. Uh, Rifat, please uh, note down this, okay? Note down the heading and this definition, uh, this theorem. Then I will again explain this from a question, okay? Please note down this. Uh, okay, okay, Rifat, then good. Okay, Abdul, good. Omir and Rifat, please confirm if it is done. Umir, uh, Rifat, please confirm. Shall we start next? Okay, Umir. Okay, Rifat, very good. Umir, uh, please confirm once it is time. Umir, shall we start next? Is it done? Okay. Uh, try this question. I will explain this to you. Okay. And the question is a bag contain four red and three black balls. So first bag, this is having four red and three black. Second bag, two red and four black. Okay. One bag is selected, and from the selected bag, one ball is drawn. Find the probability that the ball drawn is red. Okay, so we will say let A be the event of getting a red ball. A is the event of getting a red ball. Getting a red ball. Okay, now Umir, uh, think like this how you will draw a red ball. First of all, you will select a bag. Okay. First of all, you will select a bag. So take E1 of selecting first bag. E1. Okay, write always a complete statement. Event of selecting first bag. 
selecting first bag. Okay, right complete statement, the event of selecting the first bag. So you have selected first bag. Then from this first bag, you will draw a ball. So you need to find the probability of getting a red ball under the condition even has already occurred. That means you have already selected the first bag and from that you are finding the probability of A. What the other option you have, Omir? You have selected the second bag, E2. Selecting second bag, second bag. So it is E2. And from this, you will select the red ball. So P of A, E2. So what will be your probability? P A is equal to P E1 into P A by E1 plus P2 into P A by E2. Okay. So everyone, please complete this and share your answer with me.
please show your answer if it is done. If anyone have a doubt, please let me know. Okay, we have to start Bio Serum to today. 19 by 42. Very good, Umair. It is correct. Very good. Uh, Abdul Rehanifat, please share your answer. Um, yes, good, Rifat. That's correct. Very good. Abdur, what is the answer? Uh, Abdur, uh, let me know if you have any doubt. Okay, Abdul. Uh, please check here, Abdul. Now, what is P1? P1 means selecting the first back. So you have two back. What is the probability of selecting a back? So of selecting first back, Abdul. Abdul, you have two back. Why four by seven? Abdul, you have two back. Okay. What's the probability of selecting one back? I'm not asking about the ball. I'm asking about the back. Yes, Abdul. One by two. Very good. What is the probability of selecting second back, Abdul? 
again one by two okay next p a by e1 that from the first bag you are selecting a red ball okay so that means four by seven p what is p a by e2 from the second bag you are selecting a red ball so what's the probability two uh two by six clear up there now you just need to put all these values in this formula is it clear now Okay, so uh, Abdul, please do the calculation and share your answer. Okay. Very good, Abdul. That's correct. Now, uh, everyone, please try this question. Let me know if anyone have a doubt.
very good, Rifat. It is correct. Abdur and Umir, uh, please share your answer. Uh, Abdur, what answer you're getting? Uh, Abdul Nomir, uh, please share your answer, okay? So that we can start the best show now. Okay, Omer, take your time. Very, very good, Abdul, it is correct. So, uh, yes, please do as a homework, okay, Omer? Because I need to start the best show. Do as a homework, and the answer is one by two, okay? So uh, we will start now. The base here. Okay, okay. Please write the question and confirm me once it is done. Okay. Uh, is it done, Omir? Okay, great, great. Now, now next is the base here. Okay, so again the same thing. Let this be the sample space. Even be the n mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. If there is any event which can occur with these events, then P E by A. So again the same thing. Suppose this is our sample space. This is our sample space. Okay, this is E1, this is E2, this is E3, this is E4. Okay, and A is an event which occur with with which can occur with E1, E2, E3, E4. Okay, this is complete your sample space. Then probability of E1, for example, if we have to find the probability of E1 by A, so that will be equal to P E1. Okay, into P A by even by P then uh, okay then write all the cases. Suppose if you have two events or three events, write all the events then A by even plus P two P A by two plus P three into P A by 3. Okay, then write all the cases. So uh, um, we will take example, okay? Suppose you have two back, back one and back two. This have four red, six black. This have three red, five black. Okay, the question is a ball is drawn, a bag is selected, a bag is selected, a bag is selected and a ball is drawn ball is drawn and the ball found to be and the ball found to be found to be red in color found to be red in color what is the probability what is the probability what is the probability that it is that it is drawn from the first bag. That it is drawn from the first bag. From the first bag. Okay. So if we will compare this uh, Bayes theorem with the law of total probability, what's the difference between these two? If in the same question, this question is of law of total probability, then they had asked you that uh, what is the probability that the ball is red in color? 
but now they are saying the ball is red you have to find out the probability that is that it is selected from the first bag in law of total probability you have to find p a but here they are saying find p e1 by a this is the difference okay so don't get confused how you will differentiate the question law of total probability and this base theorem is in base theorem they will give you something always there will be an event which they will give you and they will ask you to find the probability of another event okay just please wait we will do many questions from this base theorem okay so uh, you will get a time to do enough practice in law of total probability i have given only two questions because uh, this is much more important base theorem this is very important we can expect a question from this okay so always remember in base theorem will always give you an event for example we will see this question uh, this is a this we will do later on first we will check this one check here three box first box is, box is this second is this third is this one one of the box is selected and a ball is drawn ball drawn is red so please check here it is given that the ball drawn is red you need to find the probability that it is drawn from the first pair okay if you, you will check the question of law of total probability they never give anything they give you the data and they say to you that find the probability of this okay but if you will see the base theorem and in base theorem always they will give you an event always they will give you an event and you have to find the another event so the hint is how you will start the questions of base theorem always remember whatever they will give you first you have to differentiate the question that it is belongs to the base theorem or law of total probability first thing is this uh, they will give us conditions and yes in base theorem they will always give you one condition so how you will differentiate first of all whenever you will get a question then compare it most uh, it belongs to law of total probability or base theorem okay so if they give you any event so that means that belongs to the base theorem then how you will start whatever they will give you take that as a okay so right event let a be the event okay event that the that the ball drawn is right that the ball drawn is right okay how you will start the questions of bayes theorem whenever they will give you some condition take that as a okay whatever they ask you to find out take that as e1 e2 that's your wish find the probability that it is drawn from the first back event event that the ball drawn that the ball drawn that the ball drawn is is from from the first box even that the ball drawn is from the first box okay now what you have to find check here they have given you that the ball is red you need to find out it is drawn from the first pack so from the question only you can analyze that we need to find p e by a then write the formula okay uh okay so we have taken e1 next write e2 e3 if it is given in the question so here how many box how many bag we have three box here we have three box e1 e2 and e3 e2 is even that the ball drawn is from the from the second bag from the second box e3 is even that the ball drawn is from the third box okay uh okay other other please wait please focus here after okay now what you need to find p even by a so this is equal to what p even into as per the formula p a by e by then in the denominator write all the cases p even into p a by even p e2 into p a by e2 p e3 into p a by e3 okay now i will solve some part only p e1 p e1 means selecting first back so there are three back first probability is 1 by 3 what is p a by e1 from the first bag you need to draw the red ball so how many red ball you have 6 6 by 10 okay now similarly 
you can do the complete question. Now, please note down this, note down this, and uh, then find all the values, put in the formula, tell me the final answer, and this is your last question, okay? Uh, Abdul, please note down this first. This is the base theorem. Okay, I will change the slide later on because um, other will, other are doing this question, okay?
Uh, this is the last question, okay? So please share your answer, then you can drop. Uh, Abdul, E2 is selecting the second box. So again, P2 is, you have three boxes. Again, one by three. How A by E is six by 10. Okay, Abdul, what is mean by A by E? That means from the first bag, you are drawing a red ball. Okay, A by E one means from the first bag, you are drawing a red ball. So check here, how many red ball you have? Six, total is 10. Clear, Umir? Umir, is it clear? Okay, great. Okay, Rifat, very good. It is correct. Very good, Rifat. Okay, so please complete the homework, okay? As soon as we will complete our syllabus, we will start the doubt classes. Okay, so the homework is, first and second assignment I have already given in the homework. Now the homework is assignment third. Okay, please complete this assignment third. Next week, we will continue the base theorem only. Okay. Okay, Rifat, then if you wish, you can drop. Okay. This was the last question. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, it is 2 by 15. Uh, let, let me check. Why it is 2 by 15, Omer? In the second bag, you have 4 red and total are 10. So it should be 4 by 10. Six by fifteen. Which which one is six by fifteen? Up there. Up to six by fifteen is which one? Final answer. Uh, two by five. Very, very good. Um, uh, Abdul, I'm sorry. Yes, you are correct. Answer is six by fifteen. Okay, you, you can convert this in the simplest form. Two by five. Uh, that's correct. Uh, Abdul, please complete this assignment third. Okay. Next week we will continue the base theorem. Assignment third is based on base zero. Okay. So, Abdur, if you wish, you can drop. Okay. And in case you have a doubt, we can discuss after the class.
No, Mir, that's not correct. Answer is two by five. Okay. Answer is two by five. So I will write all the values here. P A by E two. It is four by ten. Then P E three is one by three. And P A by E three is five by ten. Umir, are you getting all these values? Okay, then you have done the calculation mistake. Okay, please again check the calculation. Answer should be two by five. Okay, and Abdul, uh, you have already done. Okay, so if you wish, Abdul, you can drop. Okay, Omir, uh, you have one doubt. Huh? Uh, okay, okay, segment one, question number 14. Just give me a minute. 